Once upon a time in the grand saga of American leadership, each president held secrets that added color to their tales. Let's unravel these mysteries one by one. George Washington, known as the father of his country, George Washington was the first president of the United States. Did you know that Washington's false teeth weren't made of wood, as commonly believed? They were actually made of materials such as ivory, gold, and lead. John Adams. John Adams served as the second president following George Washington. An interesting fact about Adams is that he and his wife Abigail exchanged over 1,100 letters throughout their lives, providing an intimate glimpse into their thoughts and emotions. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson, the third president, was a man of many talents. Aside from his political career, Jefferson was an accomplished inventor. One of his inventions was a swivel chair, which he designed for his own comfort while working. James Madison. James Madison, the fourth president, played a pivotal role in drafting the United States Constitution. An interesting fact about Madison is that he was the shortest president standing at only five feet, four inches tall. James Monroe, James Monroe, the fifth president, was known for his foreign policy doctrine, which bore his name. But did you know that Monroe was the last founding father to serve as president? His tenure marked the end of an era, John Quincy Adams. John Quincy Adams, the sixth president, had an unusual habit of skinny dipping in the Potomac River during his time in office. He believed it invigorated him and kept him healthy. Andrew Jackson, Andrew Jackson, the seventh president, was known for his tough and sometimes controversial leadership style. A lesser known fact about Jackson is that he was the first president to ride on a train while in office. Martin Van Buren. Martin Van Buren, the eighth president, was the first president to be born as a U.S. citizen, as all previous presidents were born as British subjects before the American Revolution. William Henry Harrison. William Henry Harrison, the ninth president, holds the record for the shortest presidency in U.S. history, serving only 31 days before his untimely death from pneumonia. John Tyler, John Tyler Harrison's successor, faced opposition from his own party during his presidency. An interesting fact about Tyler is that he was the first president to have a veto overridden by Congress. James K. Polk. James K. Polk, the 11th president, accomplished many significant achievements during his single term in office, including the annexation of Texas and the acquisition of California. He also fulfilled a campaign promise to serve only one term. Zachary Taylor. Zachary Taylor, the 12th president, was a career military officer before becoming president. Despite his leadership skills on the battlefield, Taylor had never voted in a presidential election until he ran for office himself. Zachary Taylor, the 12th president, was a career military officer before becoming president. Despite his leadership skills on the battlefield, Taylor had never voted in a presidential election until he ran for office himself. Millard Fillmore, the 13th president, installed the first bathtub in the White House, or so it was claimed. However, this story turned out to be a hoax fabricated by a journalist. Franklin Pierce, the 14th president, had a tragic personal life, including the death of his 11-year-old son shortly before his inauguration. Pierce is the only president known to have affirmed rather than sworn the oath of office. James Buchanan, the 15th president, was the only president who never married. He remains the only bachelor to hold the office of president. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president, was known for his leadership during the Civil War and his efforts to abolish slavery. Despite his serious demeanor, Lincoln had a sharp sense of humor and loved to tell stories and jokes. Andrew Johnson, Lincoln's successor, was the first president to be impeached by the House of Representatives. He was acquitted by the Senate by just one vote. Ulysses S. Grant, the 18th president, was a Civil War hero before entering politics. During his presidency, Grant was once arrested for speeding while riding his horse and buggy in Washington, D.C. Rutherford B. Hayes, the 19th president, won a controversial election decided by a special electoral commission. In a gesture of goodwill, Hayes became the first president to host a reception for African-American guests at the White House. James A. Garfield, the 20th president, was ambidextrous and could write in Greek with one hand while writing in Latin with the other. Chester A. Arthur, the 21st president, harbored a secret. He underwent a secret surgery to remove 
a cancerous tumor from his mouth while in office, hiding the truth from the public eye. Grover Cleveland, the 22nd and 24th president, is the only president to serve two non-consecutive terms. During his first term, Cleveland underwent a secret surgery aboard a friend's yacht to remove a tumor from his mouth, only to later admit the procedure to the public during his second term. Benjamin Harrison, the 23rd president, was the first president to have electricity in the White House. However, he and his wife were so afraid of being electrocuted that they refused to touch light switches themselves. William McKinley, the 25th president, was the first president to ride in an automobile. He took a ride in a Stanley steamer during the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, New York. Theodore Roosevelt, the 26th president, was an avid reader and speed reader, reportedly reading a book a day even while serving as president. William Howard Taft, the 27th president, was the heaviest president in U.S. history, weighing over 300 pounds. He famously got stuck in the White House bathtub and had to have a larger one installed. Woodrow Wilson, the 28th president, was the only president to hold a Ph.D. He earned his doctorate in political science and history from Johns Hopkins University. Warren G. Harding, the 29th president, often hosted high-stakes poker games in the White House. His poker sessions were legendary, drawing in friends and allies alike. Calvin Coolidge, the 30th president, found companionship in a peculiar pet, a pygmy hippopotamus named Billy. The duo roamed the White House grounds, captivating visitors with their unlikely friendship. Herbert Hoover, the 31st president, faced the daunting task of trying to combat the Great Depression but his efforts proved insufficient to stem the tide of economic hardship. Franklin D. Roosevelt, the 32nd president, was an accomplished artist. He painted over 250 artworks during his lifetime, despite the demands of his presidency. Harry S. Truman, the 33rd president, had a sign on his desk that read, The buck stops here, indicating that he took full responsibility for his decisions as president. Dwight D. Eisenhower, the 34th president, enjoyed painting as a hobby. He completed over 250 paintings during his lifetime, showcasing his artistic talents beyond the battlefield. John F. Kennedy, the 35th president, shared his White House abode with a playful companion, a pony named Macaroni. The duo galloped through the grounds, delighting Kennedy's children and visitors alike. Lyndon B. Johnson, the 36th president, owned an impressive collection of cars, trucks, and boats known as the Johnson City Fleet. He used this fleet to entertain guests at his Texas ranch. Richard Nixon, the 37th president, was an accomplished pianist and even played for famous pianist Liberace during a television appearance. Gerald Ford, the 38th president, had a brief stint as a model in his youth and appeared on the cover of Cosmopolitan magazine in 1942. Jimmy Carter, the 39th president, reported a UFO sighting to the International UFO Bureau in 1973, making him the only president to report a UFO sighting. Ronald Reagan, the 40th president, had a successful career as an actor before entering politics. He appeared in over 50 films during his Hollywood career. George H.W. Bush, the 41st president, survived four plane crashes during his time as a Navy pilot during World War II earning him the nickname Lucky Bush. Bill Clinton, the 42nd president, was a talented saxophonist and even appeared on the Arsenio Hall show playing Heartbreak Hotel on his saxophone. George W. Bush, the 43rd president, surprised many as a cheerleader during his college years at Yale University. His spirited performances added pep to his alma mater's sporting events. Barack Obama, the 44th president, collects comic books and has a collection of Spider-Man and Conan the Barbarian comics. Donald Trump, the 45th president, is a germaphobe and reportedly dislikes shaking hands with people, preferring to give fist bumps instead. And so the tales of America's presidents, from the first to the most recent, are woven with fascinating facts and remarkable achievements, each adding a unique chapter to the story of the United States.